Hey, y'all got a minute for the words of the Lord? I'm sorry. Well, y'all got to repent and keep the commandments, all right? Go back there. No, you haven't. Not just like that, you haven't. You got to put on modest apparel now. That's right. You ain't, you ain't repenting if you out here with your ass out. You ain't repenting if you out here with your ass out. And you ain't repenting if you walk around effeminate like that. You got to man up, gun up your lawyers, brother. And separate from your damn enemies. What the hell you talking about? See, like I said, we not out here just talking out our ass, man. They talking about, I repent it. How you out repent it? Out here dressed like a damn prostitute. Make that make sense. All praises. Uh, first off, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. The brother Ron brought it out mighty in the spirit. We go keep rolling on with it, right? Let me get uh, Isaiah 61 and 1. Let me get Isaiah 62 and 6, right? So if you don't know what we are here for, we are here for you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to let you know that you are the real Jews and Israelites according to the Bible, right? So when you get that Isaiah 61 and 1, bring that up. The book of Isaiah, chapter 61, verse 1. What? The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. The what? The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. What? Because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings. To do what? To preach good tidings. To do what? To preach good tidings. Now we are here to preach good tidings for the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, right? We're not out here for every single nation. What you gonna come to find out in these last days is that salvation is only for one bloodline of people. The Most High God is only coming back to save one bloodline of people. Contrary to what the fake ass pastor tell you in your church every right. Sunday, right? Contrary to what those weak ass Christians talking about across the street, right? right? The Lord is not dealing with that false doctrine, right? So we gonna come out here and preach the truth for the Bible, like the Lord commanded us to, Bring and we gonna run these. And we're going to run these false prophets off the streets, man. Bring it out. Right, read on. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. To do what? To bind up the brokenhearted. To do what? To bind up the brokenhearted. We out here to bind up the brokenhearted, man. Who are the brokenhearted out here on these streets? Is it so called white man brokenhearted? Right? Or is he the one is he the one that's living lavish in America? Right? Right? The Lord said he sent us out here to bind up the brokenhearted. Only one nation of people is out here brokenhearted, right? All these other nations reap the benefits of our people. Right? Right? All these damn devils claim they feel sorry, but they out here enjoying their damn night. Right? Riding around on that damn uh, fire truck, getting drunk, right? But we are here to bind up the brokenhearted. We are here for the people that's living in the ghettos and the projects, that struggle off on crack and heroin, that's getting shot up in drive-bys, right? Are you brokenhearted, sir? Do you have American pride? You got a black and that's why y'all gotta be destroyed, man. The Lord not dealing with no damn American pride, man. That's right. These wicked ass, powerful ass bastards gonna get put to death in these last days, man. Along with the worst of your worthless ass people, man. Right? Read on. To proclaim, to proclaim liberty to the captain. To do what? To proclaim liberty to the captain. Who we out here for? To proclaim liberty to the captain. The Most High God sent us out here to preach deliverance for the captives. Right? Who's held captive in this land? Is it so-called white man held captive in this land? Or is he the one that put us in captivity? Yep. Right? Is it so-called uh, Chinese man held captive in this land? No. Nope. Right? What about the Japanese? What about the, uh, the Arabs? What about the East Indians? No. Right? Only the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are held captive in this land. Right. right? Right? Read on. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Who was here in prison houses in America? Right? Watch your back, King. Right? Who 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 hid in prison houses in America? We look at look at the uh, statistics. Who's the number one race of people that's in the prison houses, right? The so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, right? We don't. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord right. and the day of vengeance. And the what? And the day of vengeance. Now we all gonna get together. And the day of vengeance. Now we 
are the same. In the day of vengeance. God love everybody. The day of vengeance. So why are these Christians talking about God love everybody? Why are these Christians coming out here saying that my God loves everybody? Then that then old boy that was out here last week, he was like, well, that's y'all guy. Y'all believe in the false God. My God loves everybody. Because that's that's the God that you made up in your own mind, man. You can't believe in the God of this Bible. Right? Our God said that he is coming for vengeance. If God loved everybody, who, who is the vengeance for? You gotta make that make sense, man. Right? Reading is fun to, is fundamental, right? The only way you're gonna get true understanding on these scriptures is you you gotta humble down, man, and listen right. to the service of the Lord. We don't to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance. And the what? And the day of vengeance of our God. Everybody got of our God. Our God, right? So that's possessive. The God of the Bible is not the God of everybody, right? The God of the Bible is only the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? Read on. To comfort all that mourn. That do what? To comfort all that mourn. To comfort all that mourn. Who's mourning in America, right? Right? Who bugged out on drugs out here, right? Who out here that they, they can't pay their damn bills, man? Right? Living on the damn streets, man. Right? Is that talking about everybody? Or is that talking about one nation of people? Right? We don't? To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. That do what? That mourn in Zion. I thought God was for everybody. That mourn in Zion. Zion is the city of David. Right? Zion is the children of Jerusalem. The so-called blacks and Spanish and Native Americans. The 12 tribes of Israel, man. So... So how is this gospel for everybody, right? How is all of a sudden, because you know, you, you go to your damn seminary school, you go to your uh, Catholic church and your Christian church, and now all of a sudden this Bible is for everybody. Crack houses. Right? <laughs> right? That don't make no damn sense, man. Right? We don't. To give unto them beauty for ashes. To do what? To give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness. Our people have to be called trees of righteousness in these last days. That's the title that we're trying to earn in these last days. Because we're not called trees of righteousness in America. Like the brother brought up, all you call is a nigga in America. You call it a wetback in America. You call it a speak in America. You call it a damn brownie in America. You call it a Negro in America. A damn African American. A Haitian. A, a Jamaican. Right? But we are the children of the Most High God, man. Right? We the true kings and priests upon the face of this earth, man. Right? And in these last days, the Most High put the spirit in us to come back and take our title back, man. Right? And take our name back. And take our power and our rulership back. Right? We don't. The planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. And they shall build the old wastes. They shall raise up the former desolations. Do what? They shall raise up the former desolations. Right. And they shall repair the waste cities. And we got to repair the waste cities, man. Because our homeland was destroyed by the Babylonians, by the Greeks and the Romans. And now you got the so-called Jewish man in our homeland now having damn uh, homosexual parades, right? So we have to come back and build the desolations, man. Build up the tabernacle of David that has fallen, man. Right, read on. The desolations of many generations and strangers shall stand and feed your flock. Wait a minute. W what did the Lord say? And stranger. And who? And stranger. And who? And stranger. Hey, what's the so-called white man? A stranger. Chinese. Stranger. Right. And I know they don't like to hear this, man. Right? But we don't give a damn about what you want to hear, man. No. Right? Yeah. And keep on thinking that when we hunt your ass down and put a damn chain on your neck, man. Right? Read them. And stranger. And strangers, man. Who are the strangers that is talking about? Right? Who are these strangers? Right? I thought in the kingdom everybody was gonna be together. No. It was a, it was gonna be a damn kumbaya. No. Right? Who are these strangers that is talking about? 
Hey, y'all beautiful sisters got a minute for the words of the Lord? All right, y'all Israelites, y'all got to repent and keep the commandments and put on my superior. Read on. And strangers right. shall stand and feed your flocks. So the Lord said strangers, which are these other nations, go stand and feed our flocks, man. Right? So how the hell is everybody equal? How the hell is everybody the same? When the Lord said these other nations go be our servants in the kingdom of heaven. And you can shake your damn head all you want, man. But that's what's coming to America. In the service of the Lord, we can't wait for that day, man. That's right. right? So you better hit the gym and get built up because you're going to be working day and night, man. That's right. Read on. And the sons of the alien. And the, wait a minute. The Lord said the strangers. And now he said the what? The sons of the alien. Who are these strangers and aliens that the Lord is talking about? I thought everybody was God's chosen people. Right? That's what they say in the Christian church. Nope. That's what they say that Paul is talking about in the New Testament. Nope. So who the hell are these strangers and these aliens? The <laughs> right. These are the nations, man. Right? The Lord said the strangers and the aliens of the other nations, read on. Shall be your plowmen. Shall be our what? Shall be your plowmen. Now they're going to be our equal. Your plowmen. Now we're going to be the same. Your plowmen. The Lord said these and the nations going to be our servants and our plowmen. Right? So how the hell is that equality in the kingdom of heaven? No. Right? Why the hell would you want equality as a so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American? See, I can understand that for Esau. Of course he want equality. Right? He know he raped around to murder our people. He know that the Lord is coming back to judge him. He got that guilty conscience, man. So he won't. He want to uh, make it seem like everybody the same and everybody equal. But we'll never be the same to these damn devils, man. We'll never be as wicked and profane as these damn devils, man. No. Right? We'll never be as damn filthy and disgusting as these damn pale-faced bastards, man. No. Right? We don't. And your vine dressers, but ye shall be named the priests of the Lord. We gonna be what? Named the priests of the Lord. Now we gonna be niggas in the kingdom. Priest of the Lord. They gonna call us wetbacks in the kingdom. Priest of the Lord. Now we gonna be brownies in the kingdom. Priest of the Lord. We gonna be priests of the Lord, man. The Lord said we are a nation of kings and priests, man. Right? And the Lord gonna put us back in our rightful position in these last days, man. Only if you repent and keep the commandments. Read on. Men shall call you the ministers of our God. Of what? The ministers of our God. Ye shall eat the riches of the Gentiles. <laughs> right. Read that again. Ye shall eat the riches of the Gentiles. Well, the Lord said we go eat the riches of the Gentiles, man. Right? So you got to make sense out of that. How is everybody going to be equal in the kingdom of heaven if we go eat the riches of the Gentiles? Right? Then the Lord say all the curses that he put upon the Israelites, they got to come upon these other nations, right? Don't these other nations eat the riches of our people, yep. right? Didn't the so-called white man say that he invented the uh, GPS system yep. when the so-called black woman invented it? Yep. Didn't the so-called white man say he invented everything when everything was invented by the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans? Thomas Edison, my ass! Right? Didn't they say that... Did it, they, they the so-called blacks and Spanish and Native Americans build the White House, right? Didn't we build all these kingdoms, all these cities for the so-called white man, right? So don't they, they eat the riches of our of our backs. So the Lord said we got to eat the riches of the Gentiles, man, right? To pay these damn devils back for what they did to us, man, right? Didn't they steal this land from the so-called Native Americans, right? Didn't they murder millions of so-called Hispanics, right? Then they uh, murdered millions of so-called Negroes, right? And our people still want to hold hand in hand with their damn oppressors, man, right? We don't. Uh, read down to verse six. And in their glory shall ye boast yourselves. Shall we do what? Boast yourselves. These damn devils, they boast themselves, right? In our glory. So we got to boast ourselves in their glory, man. Right? Right? Don't they boast themselves in America? Right? Right? Then they call America the, the, the greatest kingdom upon the face of the earth. 
God bless America when America was built off the backs of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And if you a so-called black man, you gotta separate from the so-called white woman, man. Right? Thus saith the Lord. Or you're gonna be destroyed these last days, man. You gotta separate from these damn dogs, man. Right? Read on. For your shame, ye shall have double. And for confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess the devil. They shall do what? They shall possess the devil. Wait a minute, what we gonna do? Possess the devil. What we gonna do to the so-called white man? Possess your... <laughs> possess the devil. We gotta possess these damn devils, man. Thus saith the Lord, man. You can't make this up, man. Right? You read down to verse 6. Con, that's it on that then, King. Let me get, hey, let me get uh, Luke 1 and 68, right? So like I said, we're we not out here preaching that garbage Christianity, man, right? These damn devils come out here every week, don't know what the hell they talking about, right? Can't pull out one precept to prove what they saying, but they claim that they believe in the Bible, right? Hey, y'all got a minute for the words of the Lord? Well, y'all got to repent and keep the commandments, all right? No, you haven't. Not just like that, you haven't. You got to put on modest apparel now. That's right. You ain't, you ain't repenting if you out here with your ass out. You ain't repenting if you out here with your ass out. And you ain't repenting if you walk around effeminate like that. You got to man up, bend up your lawyers, brother. And separate from your damn enemies. The hell you talking about? See, like I said, we not out here just talking out our ass, man. They talking about, I repented. How you out here repenting? Out here dressed like a damn prostitute. Make that make sense, man. Who the hell you think you up here talking to, man? We the service of the Lord, man. We the disciples back on the earth. We the kings back on the earth. Right? We the priests back on the earth, man. We the prophets back on the earth, man. You're not talking to some damn simpletons, man. See, you can get away with that in the Christian church, but you're not going to get away with that with the service of the Lord. I heard talk about I repented. Brother walk around like damn RuPaul talking about they repented. She out here dressed like a damn whore talking about they repented. Nope. Stop playing games with the Lord, man. Right? Read what you got, King. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 62, and verse 6. Right up. I have set watchmen upon thy wall. The Lord did what? I have set watchmen upon thy wall. We are the watchmen that the Lord has set upon thy walls in the last days, man. Right? We out here for our people, the so-called Black Hispanics and Native Americans, man. We love our people. Hey, we want that sister and that brother to repent and separate from their oppressors. Right. But hey, it's up to them. They got the word. We told them they got to repent. We told them they got to put on modest appeal. We told that brother he got to man up and stop being effeminate. Hey, it's up, it's up to them if they want to listen or not. We ain't going to force you to listen. Right? The Lord said, cry aloud, spare it not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions. We're going to show you your transgressions. It's up to you if you want to take heed or not. Yep. Right? We can tell you all day what you're doing wrong, but it's up to you to correct yourself. If you don't want to correct yourself, then you're going to be destroyed. It's straight up like that. We're not out here to hold nobody damn hand, man. Right? We can lead you to the water, but we can't make you drink it, man. Right? Read on. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, right. O Jerusalem, right. which shall never hold their peace. Which shall what? Which shall never hold their peace. And in these last days of service of the Lord, we're not going to hold our peace, man. Right? And we hate this wicked ass kingdom, man. Right? If it was up to us, we would come out here every single day and rebuke the wickedness of this of this nation, man. Right? Every single day, man. 24-7, we would be out here on these streets rebuking this wicked ass kingdom, man. Right? So we not gonna hold our peace in these last days. It's too much damn wickedness going on in this world for the service of the Lord to hold their peace, man. Right? We gonna come out here and rebuke these wicked ass nations. For, for, for what they did to our people, man. And we're going to come out here and rebuke the wicked of our people for being hand in hand with their damn oppressors, man. And not wanting to hearken to the words of the Lord, man. Right? Read on. Which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. Do what? Keep not silence. Do what? Keep not silence. We're not going to keep silence in these last days, man. Right? Like I said, we are here to rebuke this wicked ass nation, man. Right? The Lord is slowly destroying this kingdom every single day, man. Right? Every single day the crime rate is going up. Every single day the inflation is going up. 
The prices of rent is going up. The prices of food is going up, right? So this kingdom has been destroyed every single day, man, right? Every single day, the damn police department is losing members. Every single day, all these damn hospital, uh, hospitals is losing employees, right? Right, so soon to come, it ain't gonna be no more police departments. It ain't gonna be no more fire departments. It ain't gonna be no more hospitals, right? So if you ever had a chance to repent, now is the time, man, right? Read on. Now you good, King. Verse seven. And give him no rest till he established until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. We not go rest until the Lord make us a praise in the earth, man. Right? Like from the beginning, the Lord said we were supposed to be above all nations. If we would have kept the commandments, the Lord was gonna put us above all nations upon the face of the earth, man. Right? And we want to get back to that estate, right? So the service of the Lord, we go come out here and put our lives on the line week in and week out until the Lord make us a, a name of greatness again, man. Right? Read on. Verse 8. That's it on that, King. Let me get Matthew 5 and 4. What you got, King? The book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 68. What? Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Oh, blessed be the Lord God of everybody. The Lord God of Israel. According to the Bible, the Most High God is only the God of Israel, right? Read on. And for and y'all sisters got and y'all sisters got a minute for the words of the Lord. All right, y'all gotta repent. Y'all gotta repent. Keep the commandments, all right, and put on minus the pill. Fucking retarded. For He has visited and redeemed His people. Now he has visited and redeemed all people. His people. Now all people. His people. Now the Most High God is only coming back for His people, man. Right? Like the brother was bringing out, His people are the children of Israel, man. Right? We know. And has raised up a horn of salvation for us. Not for everybody. For us. But those Christians across the street said that, that the Lord is for everybody. For us. Right. In the house of his servant David. And that horn of salvation in the house of his servant David is talking about our Lord Yahweh, right? Who the world called Jesus Christ. That come from the bloodline of King David. Read on. And he speak by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world. That we, not that everybody, that we should be saved from our enemy. What's the so-called white man? Our enemy. So-called Chinese? Our enemy. What about the Japanese? Our enemy. What about the Arab? Our enemy. What about the Persian? Our, our enemy. enemy. Our enemies, man. All these other nations are our enemies, man. So how's everybody gonna beat, go get along in these last days? How's everybody the same in these last days? How's God coming back to save everybody in these last days when the Lord said that he has enemies according to the Bible? Right? You got to make that make sense, man. Right? We have enemies according to the Bible. That's right. Just in case you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans forgot, you have enemies according to the Bible, man. That's right. Right? Read on. And, uh, Salakia. And from the hand of all that hate us. From what? From the hand of all that hate us. The hand that all that hate us, right? Like the brother was uh, bringing out on these posters. You got people on this planet that hate you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. Is this love right here, right? Hey, you in the green shirt, is this love? I don't like you either. That's not love? So what's hate gonna happen for me. this? Who gonna pay for this? You're a hate. Right? Who gonna pay for this? See, he don't want to say nothing about that. That's why his ass got to be hunted down these last days. That's right. Hold on. Right? Down. Right? That's why the service of the Lord go hunt down all these damn devils, man. That's right. Right? Hey, who going to pay for this? Who going to pay for this? Brimstone and fire. You ain't got nothing to say. The cat got your tongue. Who going to pay for this? I guess the cat got his tongue, man. Right? <laughs> See, that? <laughs> that's madness, man. Right? Somebody stitch his damn mouth shut, man. What the hell going on out here? Right, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, they ain't got nothing to say about this. They got something to say about 9 11, 
but they ain't got nothing to say. Hey, who gonna pay for this? Don't forget hey, Becky. Hey, Becky, who gonna pay for this? See, Becky off them opioids, man. Becky off them opioids. She don't know what's going on, man. Right? Right? But they, if, if we was up here talking about 9-11, they had something to say about that. Yep. Right? They'd be like, yeah, yeah, the hell with those guys. Yeah. Yeah, we killed We killed uh, Osama Bin Laden. Yeah. He saw I got something to say about that. But when it comes to the things that they did, they don't want to talk about it. Right? right? When it comes to, to vengeance and recompense coming upon their own people, they don't want to talk about it. Right? So finish that off, King. Okay? Read down to uh, 74. To perform the mercy promised to our fathers right. and to remember his holy covenant. His what? His holy covenant. His what? His holy covenant. Right. His holy covenant, right, that he made with the children of Israel when you read the Torah. Right, read on. The oath which he swear to our father. To what? To our father. This Bible is possessive, man. So what the hell are they talking about across the street, man? How many times does he have to say our fathers, the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, right? That's specific, man, right? They're heathens. That's not talking about every damn body on the planet, man, right? They just start the Bible. We don't. The oath which he swore to our father, Abraham, right. that he would grant unto us right. that we being delivered. Now, wait a minute, that everybody been delivered. That we being delivered. So we have to be delivered, man. Right? The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. These people don't need to be delivered. How is salvation for them? Do y'all need to be delivered? Right? Do y'all need to be delivered? Yes or no? Yes, to the lake of See, they fire. See, they say, because they don't need to be delivered. He said, man, is this nigga crazy? I just, I, I just, I just got off my yacht from Miami. Bullshit. Right? I, this, this nigga must be out of his mind. I don't need to be delivered. Right? That's what he's thinking in his mind, man. Don't you know I smoke $2,000 cigars? Don't you know I drink $3,000 bottles of wine? This nigga talk about be delivered. I'm, I'm already delivered, nigga. Right? So these people don't need to be delivered these last days, man. Right? Read on. That he would grant unto us that we be delivered out of the hand of our enemies. Out of what? Our, our enemies. We want to be delivered out of the hand of our enemies, man. Right? Because our, our people are the ones that's been destroyed in these last days, man. Our people are the ones that's that's on the damn concrete getting a damn knee on their neck, man. Right? right? Walk around walk around the streets getting harassed by the damn police, man. Right? Put my knee on them neck. Right? Man, who, who's that brother name that was in, uh, in Oakland? I, I believe it was like in 2009. They made a movie about it. I believe it was called the Fruitville Station or something like that. Uh -huh. Remember that that brother, that brother that was in Oakland at the bus station. Yep. The, the, it was the two police officers. They put him on the ground. He had his damn uh, hands cut behind his back, and they shot him in the damn back, man. Yep. Right? Is that happening to the so-called white man? No. Nope. Uh -huh. Is it the police shooting the damn Chinese Coward. in the back? No. Nope. Is the police shooting the damn Japanese in the back? No. Nope. Uh -huh. Right? So who needs to be delivered from the hands of their enemies, man? Not them. Right? That's how much of a threat we are to these people. They so damn scared and fearful of us that we can have our damn hands handcuffed behind our back, land on the damn ground defenseless, and they still put a damn bullet in your back, man. Right? right. You got to think about that, man. How much of a threat are we to these damn people, man? That they have to handcuff you, put you on the damn ground, and still shoot you in the damn back, man. That's right. Right? How much of a damn coward, how much of a damn peon are these people, man? These are the most pathetic, worthless people upon the face of the earth, man. They're going to right? for it. And that's why the Lord said these wicked bastards got to be annihilated from off the face of the earth, man. Raptor! Right, read on. That he would grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies right. might serve him without fear. Might do what? Serve yeah, him yeah. Without, without fear. fear. Our people live in fear in these last days, man. Our people can't even ride down the street in a nice car without worried about getting harassed by the police, man. That's right. You can't walk down the street with a nice with a nice uh, outfit on and some, damn, and some damn and some damn jury and some damn jury without getting harassed by the damn police, man. Right? So our people living in fear in these last days, man. Right? Our people not promised to see another day, man. Right? 
right? You shake your, hey, 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 how do y'all feel about this? Right? How do y'all feel about this? Fuck that shit, but what, I mean, what, who, who did this? Your ancestors? Okay, so who, who gotta pay for this? You can't? You broke? No, I'm not talking about little money. I'm talking about who go who go pay for these actions. Liquid reparations. You tell me. Okay, I will tell you. Give me Isaiah 1421. I was hoping you asked that. You a Christian? Okay. I'm on your side. I'm on your side. You're on our side, okay. Okay, you're on our side, okay, that's cool. Right? I got it. Let's bring this out for you. You say how you say who go pay for this? Oh, you already got oh he bring that out, King. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 21. Prepare slaughter. What? Prepare what slaughter. slaughter. What is slaughter? Do you know what a slaughter is? A what? A what? Right, killing, right? Slaughter gang shit. Right, so, so we go prepare the slaughter gang shit for who? For his children. For what? For his children. For what? For his children. Right? You said you didn't do it. You said your forefathers did it, right? But you are the children of your forefathers, right? No, I didn't say you did it. The Bible just said prepare slaughter for his children. So you are the children of the people that did that, right? Yes. Right? Okay. Prepare slaughter for his children. For the iniquity of... Wait a minute. For the what? For the iniquity. For the what? For the iniquity. What was that? Iniquity. Hanging us some trees. Iniquity. Castrating our men. Iniquity. Feeding our babies the alligators. Iniquity. The iniquities, right? Read. Of their fathers. Of their fathers. Of their fathers. So you said that your fathers did this, right? So what has to happen to you according to the Bible? What do I gotta do? What do you have to do? We just showed you what's gonna happen to you. What's gonna happen to you for, for the acts that your forefathers did? You, that's what the Bible just said. What you mean no? What? What you mean no? That's what the Bible just said. Is that is something wrong with that? What, wait, hold on. Was it we slaughtered during slavery? Well, so what did the Bible just say have to happen to the people that did that? Right, that's, I mean, give me Proverbs 11 and 1. Is God, hold on, is God, is God a just God? Oh, we are on camera. Oh, see that? The wicked flee, man. The wicked flee with no man pursuing. All right. All right, now. Well, I mean, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. That's what the Bible said. We, we, wasn't, we wasn't trying to get hay from trees, but it happened. We wasn't trying to get our babies fed the alligators, but it happened. So you don't want to be slaughtered, but it has to happen according to the Bible. Right? right? Sorry, but not sorry. <laughs> so give me Proverbs 11 and 1. Hey, we're going to have some fun with these damn devils tonight, man. Give me Proverbs 11 and 1. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 1. Hey, don't go nowhere, Becky. Come, come back, Becky. We got some more for you. Right. Hey, Becky with the camera on. Hey, Becky, come here, Becky. Come here, Becky. Come here, doggy, doggy. <laughs> this is Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 1. A false balance. A what? A false balance. That would be a false balance, man. You think the Most High God will allow these damn devils to destroy his chosen people and we can't destroy them? That would be a false balance, man. Read on. A false balance is an abomination. Is a what? Abomination. Is a what? Abomination. So that would be an abomination, man. Right? Repent. That would be an abomination, man. The Lord said that he was sort of dis displeased with the heathen, man. Right? He said he was but a little displeased, but they helped forward the affliction, man. They didn't have to castrate our men. They didn't have to buck break our brothers, man. Right? What type of sick, twisted, damn devil would even think in his mind to them go inside another grown man. Right? These is disgusting foul beasts, man. Right? And that's why these damn cave monkeys gotta go into captivity, man.